Okay, let's start from the beginning. My name is Chris and today I will be your tour guide to the metaverse. We are going to make you a Decentraland citizen and we'll go from buying your metaverse identity to customizing your avatar, exploring virtual casinos and a whole lot of other cool stuff. So open up a new tab in your browser and get ready to follow along. So why Decentraland? Because in my opinion, Decentraland is the most mature and advanced blockchain based virtual world that we have which is as close as we're going to get to the metaverse right now okay so let's head over to decentraland.org and start exploring once on the website you can click on the get started button and you will see this screen right here so here's the thing since most people watching will probably not have a metamask wallet or any crypto wallet to begin with there is a play as guest option which limits what you can do and see but still allows you to put boots on the ground and explore the entire world so i myself will be logging in with my metamask crypto wallet so that i can show you more in-depth stuff uh, but it's up to you setting up a metamask is super super quick and i'll link a um, guide in the description before we start dressing our avatars and playing blackjack and virtual casinos let's answer the question everyone has why is decentraland so special it looks just like the sims which came out like what 20 years ago well that's like saying how is a tesla different than a horse and carriage i mean they both have four wheels and get you from point a to point b right well the difference in both of these examples is the underlying technology obviously blockchains and cryptocurrencies were not around when the sims first came out but they are now. So Decentraland is basically just the next step in the evolutional ladder of virtual worlds and games. All right, welcome to the metaverse, guys. Before we venture off, let's go over the controls and basics really, really quick. So there's a lot of buttons on your keyboard that serve a function here in Decentraland. If you move your mouse or mouse pad, your view also starts to move. If it isn't moving, it means your cursor is not focused on the world. Basically, you have to click on the screen inside like your browser inside the game in order for your mouse to be able to move your view and if you want to get your mouse back to do something like exit the browser or change tabs just press the escape button on your keyboard and your mouse is free next we have the view switch if you hit the v button on your keyboard your character view goes into first person and if you hit it again, it zooms back out to third person. So this is up to your preference. Some experiences are better viewed in first person and others are better in third person. So you can change it anytime you like. And of course, moving around is super, super easy. Like most computer games, you will use A, W, S, and D to move your character around. You don't have to remember every single keystroke, guys. Um, just click the C button to get a list of all keyboard commands at any time. And obviously, right, we're in the metaverse. We want to talk and meet people. So socializing is one of the most fun aspects here. And if we press the enter button on our keyboard, it will open the chat box where we can type to people around us. So if you type something, hit enter again, um, it will send that out. And if you um, hit enter when there's nothing typed in the, in the chat box, it will close out the chat box altogether. Okay, so that's how you chat to players around you. Um, Good thing is players can also talk to each other using our microphone, which is probably better because I don't really like typing and hitting enter all the time. So if you push the T button on your keyboard, uh, your browser will ask if you want to allow your mic to be used, accept that pop up. And now you, get, you have a push to talk button, which is the, the T button on your keyboard whenever you want to talk. Okay. All right. Before we teleport to the main attractions here in Decentraland, you need to know why this world is such a game changer. Decentraland is not a game. It's a virtual world owned by its players. How is it owned? Through voting power. The ownership or voting power that decides the fate of this world comes in the form of its native cryptocurrency, the mana coin. Landowners also inherit voting power from their land, but the more mana you own, the more voting power you have. See, mana is the heart of the thriving in-game economy here. This world is made up of NFT tradable goods, such as land, wearables, usernames, and even scenes. This promotes ownership and enriches the players instead of a CEO or a company. Okay, I'm going to teleport to the Atari headquarters here in Decentraland, which you can also jump into by clicking one of the links in the video's description below. Isn't this crazy, guys? Atari, the brand we all know and love, has its own headquarters here in the metaverse which has the classic Atari Pong game. People can play for fun. Um, upstairs, we can go grab some Atari Metaverse merch, uh, which is in the form of NFTs. And they also have paid homage to one of the revolutionary products, the Atari console, by making the building resemble that. Guess what, guys? Other brands will have to do just as Atari did if they want a presence in the Metaverse. 
they'll need to buy land. Land is scarce, owned by players and traded freely on the market. Land owners can build anything they please on their land, which enables a user content driven experience. Decentraland is currently browser based and not VR compatible, but VR is rumored to be launched in late 2022. You log in with your crypto wallet and your hard earned items and investments in progress are always transferable. Own your username identity, own your wearables, own your land and own a stake in the economy as well as voting power to determine how this metaverse will evolve. All right, guys, so let's customize your avatar's look and talk about the NFT backpack and how wearables and these NFTs integrate into Decentraland, okay? So when you're in the game, just press the I button on your keyboard and this shortcut will take you to uh, your backpack that I was just talking about. So here, what you can do is customize your avatar, anything from skin tone uh, to head shape, hair. There's a couple of tops we can choose from, a couple of bottoms, shoes and accessories, right? But you're probably thinking, okay, there's limited options. How are the people around me you know, how do they have these really cool custom items that aren't available for me to pick, right? Like this sweater right here. Before we get into some awesome content, let's talk about the official sponsor of DeFi Donut, Pool Together, which allows me to give you guys free and frequent videos. Imagine having $73 in your bank account just to wake up one day to a balance of $43,760 because that actually happened to a Pool Together user just a few months ago. See, Pool Together is one of those DeFi apps that seems too good to be true. It is a no loss crypto lottery, which just means instead of your money buying tickets, it is pooled together with other people's funds to earn interest in the DeFi world. That interest earned every week is combined and distributed to a few lucky winners. You can withdraw your funds at any time, so you have absolutely nothing to lose. So head over to pooltogether.com and get paid to literally save money. Good luck, guys. Well, the answer is it's an NFT, right? If we go to our backpack once again and go to collectibles this is where your nfts are stored so if i go to OpenSea right now or the decentraland marketplace and buy you know a really cool custom um item that you can wear in decentraland after i purchase it and the token goes into my metamask wallet when i log into the game right i can pull up my backpack and i can equip it like these pants that i'll equip right now they're on my character right and when i go back into the game um i should be wearing them right so there they are and these pants are ice poker wearables that, you know, currently the market price is around $4,000-ish for them. So this is what I mean by in-game economy. So the perfect example, um, last year, Atari had an event where they were giving out uh, their custom Atari NFT wearable shoes that if you were there, you could mint for like $20 or $30, right? All you have to do is pay the Ethereum um, gas fee. However, now if you look at the marketplace on OpenSea, they're going for, you know, a couple hundred dollars, right? And that's the cool part about the metaverse is that you own literally everything. You own your progress, right? If you were an early adopter and you, and you were at that Atari event, you get rewarded because you got that NFT and now it's worth something. So it's all about ownership here and um, let's have some fun. So right now I'm in the Tominoya Casino. There's a tournament going on uh, hosted by Decentral Games. And if you're wondering how I got here, uh, if you press the escape button, you can click on your map in the top left and go to actually what we can do is go to the explore button right here and i'm sure the tominoa casino will uh, pop up so if we go to places and again um i pulled this up by hitting the i button on my keyboard right and then i went over to explore here at the top so if we go to places while we're here we just have to find the tominoa casino which is right here it says 123 people are here right now so if you click jump in it will take you to it so i was already here Okay, since there is a tournament going on, I can't bet actual crypto here. So I'm just going to do free play. And I'm going to do that by selecting the free play option here in the bottom right. Now I click back onto the game, approach this roulette table, and I'm going to choose, let's do 1000 free play chips. And of course, you can do this with actual crypto, right? If you wanted to, you know, have some fun. Um, and I'm going to put it on red. Okay, and now that the wheel should spin and let's see if I win, right? So this is just for fun. The wheel is gonna spin in about six seconds, right? Like I said, this whole casino uh, right now, it's pretty full because there's a tournament going on, but you can gamble with crypto. You can use free play, do whatever you want. Uh, so let's see if I win and I lost 1000 free chips. So good thing this is not, you know, this there's a tournament going on and it didn't let me bet and eat. But there's blackjack here, there's slots, and there's just all types of cool things to do inside Decentraland, right? So I want you to explore beyond what I cover in this video because there's I, I just don't have the time to cover everything. There's just simply so much happening in this game. A couple other cool things that I want to mention is um, 
the navigation. So you'll notice that here in the map on the top left, there is coordinates, right? Right now I'm standing on top of one negative 120, 136. And if I move, you'll notice that number is now changing, right? Negative 121, uh, negative 122. And that is because in the URL, if you take a close look, um, the coordinates are here as well. And that's done on purpose because if I copy this, right, this link I can now send to a friend on Facebook, Instagram, a text message. And if they click it, it'll take them directly to where I am. So it's a it's a cool way to like invite friends and do meetups. I can tweet this link out and say, hey, uh, meet me in the metaverse. This is where exactly where I'm at. So as soon as they click, they connect their wallet and they come join me. Right. So that's pretty cool. Um, like I said, there is a world map in the top left, uh, which lets you teleport to literally anywhere. Um, so if you want to explore that way, it shows uh, active players as red dots. So that's a good way to find like where there's a crowd. Like I said, it's early. There's not, you know, this metaverse space. It's so it's so new. There isn't going to be a crazy amount of activity yet, um, but it's it's evolving. Right. Next, we what should we talk about? Uh, let's go to explore. So if you are ever wondering what there is to do in Decentraland, you can go to the explore tab and you got events that, you know, are scheduled in the future that you can go to. Um, you got places that are, you know, the most popular places, they'll kind of rank them and put them here so that, you know, you know exactly where to go to um, find other players to socialize or play games or whatever, right? So that's a cool uh, feature that, you know, wasn't always around. And yeah, like I said, I implore you guys to just go out there and just start exploring. All right, so let's carry on with the video. Okay, so as you're walking around this world, it may not seem like it's the most groundbreaking thing ever, right? You have to realize that the land you're walking across and over is owned by people from teenagers to corporations to small companies to people like you and i it's powerful because anybody in the world could buy land inside here right now and start building anything they want from it businesses games whatever we could build an arcade with custom games and charge people to play we could even build a huge interactive and clickable billboard and charge companies to advertise on it giving ourselves a passive income stream i mean atari even launched a casino here in decentraland this year Imagine what your land could be worth if a big company comes in and wants to build something on your parcel. The opportunities are endless, but trading land is the least exciting thing here. Here's the quick history of Decentraland explained in like 20 seconds. In 2017, 90,000 individual land parcels were created and Decentraland had its first public land auction where anybody in the world could bid on and purchase land. After two major land auctions, every single piece of land had been bought by the public and since then is tradable on the second hand marketplace and no more land will be created, so virtual real estate is becoming a hot topic for investing. Okay, so here's how land works. Each parcel square is represented by an NFT token. NFTs are unique tokens that can be bought, sold, gifted, or traded, and go right from wallet to wallet. That's why you log into Decentraland using your crypto wallet, because once you're in the world, it instantly sees what tokens you own, and can then instantly recognize what land, wearables, and usernames belong to you as well. But not all land is tradable or can be bought. These green pieces of land you see on the world map are called Genesis Plazas, and they belong to the community, just like the land that we spawned into in the beginning of this video. Also, take note that there are public roads which also belong to the community. You cannot buy any road parcels of land. And one last thing to note is that yes, every piece of land started as an equally sized square block. However, anyone who owns conjoined blocks of land that share any one side can combine as many neighboring parcels into one piece, which creates an estate. The benefits of large estates is that you can build bigger things on the land. One or two parcels, for example, is just not big enough to build a casino like Decentral Games has. So as you explore the world, you may notice that some people have a clean username and others have those ugly numbers at the end. That is because you have the option or the ability to purchase an actual metaverse identity. You have two options for getting a unique username. The first option is paying 100 mana to claim a username, given nobody else has already taken it. You can do this by going to Decentraland.org, clicking on Builder, then Names, and here you'll be able to manage your names in the future, and more importantly, buy new ones that aren't already taken. Option two is heading to the marketplace and finding a desired username that someone else has and is selling. Names can be found on either the native Decentraland marketplace or on a third-party NFT marketplace like OpenSea. Speaking of ownership, let's talk about wearables. In traditional games, real-world trading of in-game items is against the rules. But this isn't traditional games. This is the metaverse. Wearables are simply tokens in your wallet. And when we press I on our keyboard and navigate to our backpack, we can equip and unequip our NFTs, whether it's a hat, a Christmas sweater, or a donut floaty, right? Wearables can make your avatar stand out, look cool, of course, but they can also have cool utility behind them, custom utility that anyone can create.
For example, if I own a piece of land, right, I can take an existing wearable and create a secret meeting room where you must own this wearable to get access to. Or I can take it a step further and hire someone to create a custom wearable for me and create utility for it as well. Decentral Games is the perfect example for this because they created a play to earn poker game. And in order to play, you need one of their ice wearables equipped. If you want to see for yourself, let's hit the I button on our keyboard right now and teleport over to any ice poker arena. You will notice that you cannot just jump into a game because you don't have an ice wearable, whereas the people around you are playing just fine. Once again, an infinite amount of possibilities lie here. Wearables are just like land, and they come in the form of NFT tokens, which makes it super easy to transfer, buy, or sell them on any NFT marketplace. Okay, so you have this big virtual world with what seems like a thriving economy. So where does its native cryptocurrency mana fit into all this? Is it worth investing in? Is there value behind it? Let's talk about it. So yes, mana is the native crypto of Decentraland, but the founding team made sure that it's not the only crypto that's compatible within this economy. Remember, the point of a metaverse is to be open, not closed and permission. The coolest utility of mana is that it acts as voting power in the Decentraland DAO. DAO stands for Decentralized Autonomous Organization, which simply means most or all decisions regarding updates to Decentraland are made by community voting. And mana is the voting power which anyone can buy. The more mana you have, the heavier your vote is. Mana is also the only way to claim a new, unique username. You pay 100 mana to claim, and that mana gets burned and eliminated from existence to help keep the coin somewhat deflationary. Another thing to keep in mind is that mana has a supply cap along with a burning mechanism, which means that the total supply is always shrinking, slowly but surely. The treasury is the community chest where the revenue piles up. You see, in traditional gaming companies, this would be the company's earnings, right? Their money and they choose what to do with it. But in a DAO structured organization, such as this one, the treasury is owned by us, by mana holders and land owners. The community gets to decide how to spend the treasury money, which usually gets spent on growing the game, uh, giving creators and developers grants to help with growth as well. And remember guys, it's all built on the Ethereum blockchain. So we can view the treasury wallet here and see every asset inside of it. Uh, the current valuation is a little over 100 million dollars that mana holders have control of i hope i did a good job as your tour guide today and i think by now you kind of have a good understanding of how everything works and operates inside this virtual world we call decentraland i now challenge you to keep exploring get involved within the community and solidify that metaverse citizenship the investment and networking opportunities here are crazy and they're only going to get crazier in the years to come happy exploring guys subscribe if you enjoyed the video and i'll be here along the way to explain these complicated topics in a simple, easy to understand way.